वेलकम बैक सोर्सेज से एक्सपर्ट कमेटी ऑफ कैपिंग हैज रिकमेंडेड 35 मिलियन टन ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ आयन ओ इन गोवा द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अपॉइंटेड सिक्स मेंबर एक्सपर्ट कमेटी टू डिटरमिन कैपिंग ऑफ आयन ओ सबमिटेड इट्स फाइनल रिपोर्ट टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑन 21 अप्रैल 2014 द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन इट्स जजमेंट हैड फिक्स्ड अ कैप ऑफ 20 मिलियन टन ऑन आयन ओ एक्सट्रैक्शन टिल द एक्सपर्ट कमेटी सबमिट्स इट्स रिपोर्ट Supreme Court would take final decision after studying the expert committee's report. The Supreme Court appointed six member expert committee submitted its final report to the Supreme Court. Sources say considering the environment impact and intergenerational equity, committee has recommended the annual capping of 35 million tons. Supreme Court in its order had allowed 20 million tons of fresh extraction subject to report of the committee. The expert body comprises of an ecologist, geologist, mineralogist, a forest expert, representative of the mines department, state principal secretary and representative of the union minister of environment and forest. Committee held its meeting with mines, barge, truck operators and environmentalist to hear their views. Final decision on the capping will be taken by the Supreme Court. Truck barge and machinery owner associations have demanded annually 50 million tons of fresh extraction of iron ore. While Goa government before the Supreme Court had argued for 45 million tons of fresh extraction iron ore, a petitioner Goa Foundation has pressed for 5 million tons of extraction of iron ore annually. Reporter Mahesh Khadi for Prudent. Goa government has opposed the demand of 205 bina encroachers to rehabilitate them, saying they cannot be rehabilitated at the cost of public money. During the brief hearing before the High Court, the state government cleared that the proposed demolition of 205 illegal hut pens at Bayana Beach is part of disaster management. The High Court will hear this matter on Wednesday. The court has extended interim relief from the demolition. While representing Goa government before the High Court, Advocate General Atmaram Nadkarni contended that the life of 205 Bayana encroacher families is at risk. Hence, demolition of those 205 hutments is a part of disaster management, and it should not be opposed or stopped. AG also contended that these illegal structures are situated on Main Bayana Beach, and it is spoiling the beach. Goa government has strongly opposed demand petitioner Bayana Resident Welfare Association to rehabilitate them. AG Atmaram Nadkarni contended that petitioners do not qualify for any rehabilitation scheme, and they cannot be rehabilitated at the cost of public money. The High Court extended interim relief from demolition till next date of hearing, that is Wednesday. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. North Goa Rent a Car Association has reiterated the demand of regularization. They claim that one of the operators from Kerala is running taxi business with government's permit in South Goa, but the service has not been legalized for the Goan operators. Operators claim that regularization will help both the association and the government in terms of revenue. Association will take up the issue to the CM. Pushkal car rental boy, the jo ekle cha nama chhe doinche gadiya. Dal ami anga thari charchi pashi burgiya. Dal am ka kiti agnan te ekle monche doinche gade kiya. रिक्वेस्टिंग गवर्नमेंट Panchi police is likely to seek investigation report from its Kolhapur counterpart in six children rescue case. 
Kolhapur police has arrested an accused, namely Emmanuel Gaikwad there for illegally supplying children to the accused British national. Punji police on 16th March had rescued six children from the custody of the accused Britain from a posh house at Bamboli. Punji police team has left for Kolhapur to bring Emmanuel Gaikwad as witness for questioning. This case is under question whether rescued boys were brought to Goa from Kolhapur for the purpose of pedophilia. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.